3 2 win against Wembley. What's your initial thoughts after that game? Overall, d delighted. Um, that wasn't the case first half. First half, extremely disappointed. Uh, we've tried to um, give the boys a little bit more of a foundation in regards to how to play and when to play and where to play. Uh, and we didn't, we didn't do that. We didn't demonstrate that first half. We were far too direct. Um, that stretched the pitch and we were exposed at times. They had some very athletic players and uh, players that are very good in 1v1 situations. And I thought we was exposed. Um, so we went in at half time and, uh, and we addressed that. And I told them individually, collectively, that I was disappointed in, in all of them, just due to the hard work that they put in up to this point. You know, that's eight games on the bounce, and um, they've come out second half, and it, it shows you the type of individuals that we've got in the changing room. They stood up, they were accounted for. You know, they they never give up. They they, they were relentless over and over and over again. Whether it was pressing, whether it was passing, whether it was shooting, whether it was crossing, whether it was hitting the the crossbar. So yeah. yeah, you took the early lead, but then a penalty straight after from kick off to sort of didn't allow you to build on that goal you took on early on. Yeah, there's something that we've got to not got to address, but something we've got to remind ourselves, especially when we go one nil up in in six minutes like we did. We've got to then um, sort of shut up shop for a little while, get a, get a feel of the game again, pass the ball again, stretch teams again, and then start to probe. I think we. We immediately look to, to try and get them straight away, and, and sometimes the, the unfortunate situation could be we might be stretched at times, and they might go in a one v one like they did, and and that can happen. So we have to be a little bit more um, mature with that sort of situation. Neither team were able to sort of get on the ball in that first half, and it was all quite open, and when we sort of had a lot of time and space to try and try and work their way into the game. Yeah, they did. They um, I, I felt they were the better side first half. Um, for large periods, I thought we were uh, almost counter-attacking everything that they had. Everything was a little bit desperate in our, our defending third, um, which was disappointing because we worked so hard last week in terms of shutting up shop and being organised and keeping our, our banks of four and forcing teams wide. Um, but again, I have to congratulate the players because they've worked so hard to, to, to change that for the, the following half. Great second goal as well. Charlie Bridge with a great blow to Dave Parkinson, brought it down, put into the bottom corner. So that was a good goal to. Yeah, um, from my angle, have you actually seen the, the back line of Wembley? It was like a, an L shape. So that he, he had about 50 yards to play it into to get him in. And when Dave goes through 1v1, I think Yian Lewis was, was celebrating before he's even actually put it in the net where, he's, where, where we all are so confident in that individual. Um, but again, we have players like that that can step up, and, and Charlie Briggs, for example, has been exceptional as well with his range of passing, um, and he really gives us an outlet. And so, yeah, now really pleased. Hit the post four times, goal disallowed. Must have been quite frustrating at times with that. Yeah, yeah, um, extremely disappointed with them not falling for the plays that that deserve them. You know, uh, Matt Nolan's created a number of chances. Uh, Kane Farrell's hit the post where he's come inside. Uh, Sam Holmes has done exceptionally well. Joe Hankins, we've played it across the box. Um, but the, the positive to come out of that is we keep doing it over and over and over again. So uh, with the individuals and the, the mindset that we've got, if they keep doing that and they keep probing, there will be there will be results. Great Goodman got the winner at the end there, similar to Tuesday night. Players never gave up and just wanted to get that winning goal. Yeah, I, I felt the the second half we were, we were camped in their half and we played some lovely football and. Like I said, if you keep knocking on the door, that someone's got to answer. And luckily, again, or not luckily, deservedly, the ball's gone in for us. And um, the collective today are, are delighted. You know, it's eight games unbeaten. Um, I want to keep boring you with that. I want to keep reminding people of that. And we've got to keep that going. If we've got any ambition of of climbing the league. Back at home Saturday against Leicester Green. It's another tough game, but it'd be good to, to take the momentum forward from that. Tough game. Tough game. We've, we've looked at some of their results, um, and we're going to have to prepare. We have to sort of put this one to bed now and, and make sure we move on very quickly. Uh, we've got Tuesday and Thursday, or Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. The players might think they've got a day off there. No, they have got a day off. That's a lie. Sorry. There's a 23s game on Tuesday, so they will be training Monday and Thursday um, specifically for that match. Um, we just need to add a few more layers, get everyone there again, um, and I must, I must uh, remind people of of the people that didn't get on today, or the players that didn't get on today. We've got a good squad, a good squad of 
20 plus players and they're all chomping at their bit to get to get uh, some game time and they're not just average players they're exceptionally good for the level that we're playing at um, so there's a, there's a there's a shout out to them to keep going and keep doing what they're doing